friends, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Dee. I am the creator of Messy Heart Crazy Life. So here on my channel, I do all things, pretty much beauty, a little bit of lifestyle, that sort of thing. But I am an at home or DIY lash extension enthusiast. So you can go through, I'll put all my previous lash extension videos down below. You can see I have done a lot of these videos and I really, really like it. So before we get into it, I just wanna kind of talk to you about what this video is going to be about um, and kind of how it's gonna be set up because I've done so many videos of me going through, putting my eyelashes on and kind of doing tips and tricks. I will leave those videos below. This one is really just going through the product, kind of giving you first impressions. I will speed through putting on the lashes and then I will come back at the end of the video and kind of let you guys know how they feel, what I think about the quality, that sort of thing. So let's go ahead and get into the video. What I'm gonna be reviewing today is the Dark Swan of Denmark Lashes. So they kind of have two different things. And when it's weird because I follow them on Instagram and I always thought that they were just like the falsy lashes where it was just the strip lashes. But then there was a, you know, an advertisement that came up and it looked like they had clusters. So I went on their website and sure enough, they do. So they have like three different collections. They have a luxury mink collection. They have a lavish faux mink collection. And then they have the soft silk lashes. And so these are the soft silk. So the clusters are the soft silk collection. The other mink lashes are the strip lashes. So of the soft silk lashes, they do have a couple of varieties. So they have a secret lash that is a classic and a natural. And then they have like a cappuccino they just came out with. So they have a variety of different things. I remember seeing it like a feather. There's one I think that was called honey. So they've got a variety of different styles of cluster lashes. So the one that I got was the classic. And so it's supposed to be just classic. It's medium volume. It's not like super, super thick or anything like that. So when you go to pick the classic or the natural out, there's a couple different variations you can do. So this packaging right here, which has three rows of, I think 13, is it upside down? No, this is the way it goes. Yeah. Um, it has, I try to count them. I think they have 13, so three rows of 13 lashes. I looked on their website. I didn't see how many actually come in here, but it's a pretty decent amount. But it, this retails for $30. So you get $30 for all of these. Um, then they also have minis. So it's kind of like, think Lilac Street or Lilac Street with just the one eye kind of look. They do have those and those are $10. So I think they're a little bit more expensive than like the Lilac Street, but still not super unreasonable. But then you can go ahead and choose, once you you know decide, hey, I want the classic, I want the natural, you can choose what length you want. So they have a couple different variations. You can get it in just the eight millimeters, you can get it in the 10 millimeters or the 12 millimeters, all the same rows, or you can do a mix. So they have a short mix where it's a mix of eight, 10 and 12, or a long mix that is a mix of 12, 14, and 16. So if you're somebody who likes to do kind of that cat eye look where you start out in you know lower millimeters or lower length and then kind of fan it out, they have a variety for you. So you don't have to buy three of these things to get that kind of customized look. They do have a mix. I went ahead and just bought the 12 millimeters. If you watch my previous videos, you know I really prefer 10 millimeters because I feel like that's the most natural looking in my eyes. When I get up into like the 12 and 14, I feel like it really looks kind of drag queen-ish on my face, which sometimes I really like that. But from a day to day, it's not kind of my go-to look. But I have been two weeks without lashes just because I've been super crazy. Um, we were traveling, all that stuff. So I am looking forward to kind of a little bit more baba boom look. So I decided, hey, let's go ahead and do the 12 millimeter. So I can tell you right now, first things, um, when I purchased them, they have super fast shipping. Now, I don't know if it that was because it was just, hey, that's normal, whatever, but I do, like when I ordered it, it was just a couple of days. Like they shipped it off right away. I get a shipping notification pretty much like the second, the next day that I ordered it. And it was kind of crazy because it was right around the holidays. So I feel like there was a lot of, um, 
there was just a lot of, uh, or like it was really, really fast shipping. So I just opened it up. It does come with a little mini glue. What They do have some accessories, like they have the regular tools, they have some scissors on there, and then they did have a mini glue, but I'll be honest with you, this, if you, again, watched my videos before, well, this is a little weird, but I don't like this mechanism. I like the mascara kind of wand mechanism because it takes a heck of a lot, less, a lot less. So I'm just going to be using my Lilac Street Pro Glue to put these on. So this is like a cardboard thing around it. And like just, it's so hard to get into, but it's plastic. So that's why it was heavy when I first got it. I was like, man, this is heavy. So let's see, okay. It is kind of easy to open if you like calm down. So let's see, I wanna pop one off and see how easy it is to get off. Okay, relatively easy to get off. I do feel like I tweaked it a little bit, but it's not horrible. I do like the fact that the band is really, really small. It reminds me a lot of like Lilac Street and Lashify. I hate the bands that have like that fishing line in it. So like Flutter Habit and even, I think it's Blink, Blinkify just did. Um, they're just not as comfortable. I feel like these are a lot more natural feeling. They're a lot less, you know, they have a lot less weight. So they don't feel like they're dragging on your eye and they're just easier to apply. So let me see, I, I just wanna feel it. Oh, okay, these are really, really soft. So the one thing I, I find, and this is my personal opinion, I feel like Lashify, which is probably the, probably the most known lash at home lash extension brand, I feel like their lashes are plasticky. Like they're com they're not very comfortable. I just got, I just did a video and this, that will go up soon of I think the Icon lashes or it was a new lash that came out and I just felt like they were really, really plasticky. These feel super, super soft. They feel like they're silky. Um, they feel like they're natural. They feel like they're really, really thin. So I think they're going to be super, super comfortable to wear. So before we get in the video, I just wanna show you guys real quick the tools that I'm using. Um, I am going to be using the Lilac Street tool. This is my absolute favorite. The Lashify little blow tool. I feel like it helps uh, with the, the drying time. And then I will be going in with the Lilac Street Pro Glue. This is my absolute favorite. I feel like the longevity is there. It is super easy to use because it does have that micro wand, that mascara wand. And to me, this is the method that is the easiest to apply because it's super quick and you just go bam, bam, bam. Instead of trying to individually put the glue on each lash, it's messy. I usually lose a lash. I usually get it all over the place. So I find like the micro mascara wand is the easiest method to do. So that's what I'm going to be using and then I've already cleaned my my own lashes with the Lashify pre-cleanse so yeah. that I can get a really good bond. And then I do have here the Lashify glass bond or crystal bond, glass crystal bond afterwards. So those are the stuff that I'm using. I just use up, these things work, that's it. So I'm not really band, brand specific. I use whatever works and I don't care what the brand name is. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna go ahead and put off the lashes. I'm gonna do one row or one stack and see what that looks like. And then I might need to go in, but I'm gonna speed up this so you can see the application, but I'm not gonna be really talking through it. So let's get into it. So I've taken a couple of the lashes off and they are coming off pretty, pretty easily. But it's interesting because it's this, it's almost like it's a little bit of a tacky like glue thing or whatever, but what I found is I usually grab it from the actual lash part and I'm finding that that not, it hasn't damaged any of them, but I find, I'm finding that like it really could. So what I'm doing is I'm going up under and the way they put the lash on the glue band, they didn't put the spine of it on the glue band. So you are able to get kind of up under the spine where it's the most stable or it's the strongest part of the lash and I'm able to kind of grasp it and then pull off. So I'm finding that I really, really like that because I feel like they kind of thought through it. It makes it super easy and I'm with that method. I feel like I'm not tweaking any of them and I'm not gonna damage any of them. So definitely, definitely like that. Okay. 
Okay, so there is the first one. Um, they feel really, really comfortable. They are very thin looking and you can kind of see because they're not volume, I wish I would have probably gone up the one other, like the more volumized, just because I know I'm gonna have to stack them because they're so fine. Um, which is fine because if you're looking for a supernatural look, I feel like this has the length in of it, but I just wish they were a little bit darker. I feel like you can almost peek through and see, and um, they're almost like, tran not translucent, but they're just not as thick as, as I want them. So not really a diss to the company or whatever. I just, the style of the lash, I wish I would have gone a little bit more volumized so that you could see a little bit more of it. But I'm gonna go ahead and try to stack it and see how that goes. I'm gonna go ahead and do my other eye, but then come back and stack it and we'll, we'll go from there. So that is the second one. So again, you can just see like, it's just very, very thin looking. So I'm gonna go in and fuse it and it's not ready. This is where the puffy thing comes in really good. That's better like you can actually see it now but I still feel like up here it's just it's a little bit too fine or not volumized like I wish I would have gone a little bit more volumized but it's not bad I mean these are definitely very very natural so if you are looking for something that has that length but nothing like va va voom in your face then I think these are not very natural these stacked really really well so um and like I said these are a little bit more va va voom they do have a pretty decent curl on them, which makes them a little bit more dramatic, but they're just not very volumized. Okay, so that is it. That is the final product. I actually really, really like them. Um, I, like I said, the volumizing part, I wish I would have gone a little bit thicker, like the fiber, the actual lash was a little bit thicker. I think I would have been happier with that, but they are very, very comfortable. I do like the fact that the band is very, very small. I feel like that is the most comfortable um, when it's that small band. So I do really, really like that. I feel like the lashes themselves are very soft and they're not pokey at the end. So even though they are super curly, they're actually not hitting my the bone. Sometimes they get super curly and they like hit the bone and that's where that like pokey feeling comes from. But even if these did that, they are very, very soft. They feel like silk or that very, very nice mink, kind of that faux mink texture, but not plasticky. And that's, I hate lashes that are plasticky. There is enough lashes or lash brands out there that you don't have to have plastic feeling lashes. So I really like that. I do like the glue mechanism. I honestly think that, because I always, the two brands that I normally use are the Lilac Street and the Lashify. And as far as the ease of getting the lashes out of whatever mechanism, I do feel like Lashify is a lot easier, but these are probably right up there with Lashify. Because they put the band, like you can see right there, they put the lash right in the middle so you can go under this little part and grab it. That's genius. That makes it so much easier to get out. I did not tweak any of them. I didn't have the fear of tweaking any of them. They all just kind of popped right off and I had, it, it was good to go. So on their website, it does say the lashes are supposed to last one to two days. Um, but you can reuse them up to five or six times. I'm guessing that is because of the glue. Um, I'm guessing the glue just isn't as strong. With the Lilac Street Pro Glue that I use, I can get five, six, seven, eight, nine days out of it. I usually, so this is Friday, I'm doing this video. I'll probably take them off next Friday night. 
get that whole week and then I will let my eyes have a couple days rest and then generally I'll do another kind of set or whatever. But so I think that that's the one to two days is referring to the glue bond. Maybe it, it's not very strong, but like I said, I use the pro, pro glue, so I'm good to go. As far as my first impressions, I really, really like them. Um, I actually am going to be going on and purchasing the natural one, seeing what the difference is if they're a little bit of a thicker fiber of an eyelash because I think that I would prefer that better. I do like the 12 millimeter, so I'll probably do that style, but just a thicker lash. And like I said, they have other uh, lashes. It is not as, they don't have as many as like Lashify or whatever, but they do have, I think, enough where you can find what you're looking for. I do really like the quality. I do feel like they sh ship quickly. I do feel like the glue mechanism is good. The packaging is good. They feel soft, they feel great. I like the band. So I really, really like these. And so if you're looking for something that, like I would say they're comparable to Lilac Street. Um, and even between the both of them, I have to compare both of them. The only thing I like about the Lilac Street is they are more affordable. You get a set for seven where you get a set for 10 um, with this brand. So these this brand is a little bit more expensive, but I'd have to look at shipping and all that stuff, but these are definitely right up there with Lilac Street and I will be purchasing another one. So if you're interested in trying them out, I don't think that you'll be disappointed. Hopefully you enjoy the video. Please let me know if you have any questions. If you need help with anything, if you want clarification on anything, please leave your questions or comments below. I will help you out as best I can, but hopefully you enjoy the video. Until next time, bye.